Hey guys, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd film a tag video for you. This is the Me Time tag. And I saw it on Florida Force's channel. And I wasn't actually tagged in this video, but I thought it was really cute and really fun. And so I wanted to film it for you guys. So if you want to see more of me talking about what I do in my spare me time, then stay tuned. And I will link all of the questions down um, in the description box. So if you guys want to do this tag too, then you can have the questions there too. So let's get started. Question number one is, what do you watch or read during me time? Um, right now, I am super obsessed with audiobooks. And I have an app on my phone called Overdrive. And it's amazing. So all you do is link up like your local libraries and I'm pretty sure you can do like as many libraries in your city or in your state as you want and you just link it up and create like online accounts and they stay saved in your phone and you can go and borrow books as if they were at the library and they have regular um, like Kindle version books or ebooks that you can rent and then audiobooks as well and I think I want to say there's some that you can do movies but I'm not for sure so don't quote me in fact, I feel like I'm lying, so let's just cut that part out. Um, but right now I am reading, oh my goodness, what is it? Uh, City of Ash in the Mortal Instruments series. I have already read the first three books and I have them somewhere in my house, um, but I haven't read them in a really long time. And I uh, know that there are, I think, two or three books in the series that close it out and I've never read those books. So I wanted to um, do that. So I'm starting, I already read City of Bones and now I'm starting City of Ash. And I'm also rereading the Fifty Shades of Grey books. Um, the girl who does the audiobook, like the narrator, she's not that good. Or at least to me, I'm not a fan of her. Um, but I still, you know, kind of really enjoyed the books. and. Um, I was talking about it with somebody and it just made me want to read them again, so I'm listening to those as well. Um, question number two is, what do you wear during your me time? Hashtag no bra. And that hashtag is for real true. Like, I come home and whenever I have some free time, it's like bra, boop, gone, out. And sweatpants, yoga pants, no pants, like... If it's me time, it's like t-shirt and that's it. T-shirt, no bra, no pants, I'm good to go. Like, <laughs> ultimate comfort. I crawl into my bed, either listening to a book, reading a book, or watching something on Netflix. So that is what I wear during me time. Keeping it real simple. Question number three is what are your me time beauty products? And I don't really have like a um, at home pampering kind of a thing like a, a, a routine that I do um, whenever I'm feeling like I want to be pampered I will get on YouTube and look at homemade DIY masks um, I'll get on Pinterest I will just go to like Walmart and see whatever just kind of inexpensive um, masks they have just whatever and take a bath and just smell good and have a mask and uh, come up with a book in the tub I mean it, I'm pretty simple when it comes to me time and as far as beauty products I don't really have a lot. Um, the current favorite nail polish. Now if you are friends with me like not in virtual life but in real life here I don't I'm not a person that paints my nails I don't do it if I if my nails aren't done like with acrylics they're not done and they're naked all the time and I have every now and then where I just get like this itch in my, up my butt where I'm like I need to paint my nails and then I do and I hate them and I take off the polish pretty much as soon as I put it on. So unless I've got acrylics on my nails and I'm in a mood where I want to keep up acrylics for a few months that's the only time that I get my nails done. Um, so I don't, that's the long roundabout way of saying that I don't have a favorite nail polish. But I really like the polish that I've got going on right now which is um, on my other nails. What am I talking about? On every nail that's not my ring finger is OPI Makes Men Blush 
and then on my ring finger the accent nail is china glaze goldie but goodie and I really like this um, combination I had black and orange nails for Halloween previously I don't know if I have any videos where you'll see those nails up I don't remember but if I do you'll have seen them um, and I just really wanted to keep it real chill and keep it calm on this go around because we're about to start stepping into Thanksgiving soon and then the Christmas holidays and glitter is definitely going to be in full swing during those months like that time so um, that's what's going on here with the nail polish. I don't have a favorite but I do enjoy getting my nails and toes done professionally at the nail salon. Question number, where are we, number five? Five, yeah, um, is what do you eat or drink during me time? I am a complete comfort foodaholic. Like if you, this is gonna sound really bad, but like if you put french fries or pasta or a bowl of mashed potatoes or chips, like all of the worst things that you could possibly eat, eat ever in life, like toast, I, I just, I'm a fan of eating really carby, comfort foody foods. Um, so during me time, that's usually what I gravitate for, towards. However, I am trying to change it and I am making a permanent change because I'm actually going through some stuff, um, but I am trying to substitute bowls of mashed potatoes, french fries, and pasta with carrot sticks and hummus, or um, I make, my sister introduced me to the fast metabolism diet and there's a really good um, turkey chili that's so yummy and it's a slow cooked meal, it's really easy to prepare, and we also make a, what we call the veggie bomb, or what my other sister calls the veggie bomb, which is basically just some chicken, some chicken broth, and that you bomb it with veggies. There's cabbage, kale, spinach, mushrooms, celery, uh, broccoli, um, just all kinds of stuff. There's different herbs and it's just really really good and it's uh, a hearty meal because the veggies kind of break down, they soften and it makes you really full but it's also really healthy and it's very high in protein so that's really good and that's what I'm trying to gravitate towards is the healthier snacks. In fact, I have a nature box that I think will be coming soon this month and I need to actually go onto my pantry and do some little lookings around because um, that's also a good substitute. So anyway, long story short, I'm switching out the bad foods and the carbs for the yummy foods and the carrot sticks. So um, that is my me time snack. And let's see, my current favorite candle. I love candles, but I find that they're very expensive, so I don't buy them very often. But when I do, they're pretty much gone in an instant because I'm burning them constantly. And then they burn up and then they're gone and I'm sad. But Zoella Beauty, or Zoella here on YouTube, I'm sure everybody knows about her because the um, came out with a Zoella Beauty line. And in her line, she came out with candles. They are about this big this big around and they are the most just lovely fragrant light smelling candle like you ever it is I love it and I don't know how to explain it and my current filming situation is not such that I can just get up and go get it and like try to read off the back of it for you um, but if you're interested I'll put the notes of the candle um, in the description box but it's so lovely I just hate that it's so small because it burns up so quickly and I'm already almost done with it and I've only had it for like a couple of weeks and I'm really sad. So um, that's my favorite candle right now is the Zoella Beauty candle. And I think it's one you're supposed to burn like when you're in the bathtub but I'm not in the bathtub that often unless I have lush products to burn through and so I just burn it in my room and it makes it smell really fantastic in here. So Zoella Beauty, her candle is amazing. Um, let's see, the next question, because I've lost count of where we're at, five, six, seven, is do you ever have outdoor me time? Not really. I live in Arizona and it's hot as balls outside during the summertime and right now it's perfect. It's beautiful weather, it's really great, but I'm just not a very outdoorsy person. 
Um, so as far as like outdoor me time, I don't really go on walks. Again, this is all part of the weight loss challenge and the weight loss like journey. I'm gonna try to change that. I, I'm going to change that. It's something that I have to change. But um, as far as out outdoor activities go, I am not one of these people who like to be outside. So <laughs> none. Um, let's see. The next question is, would you ever go see a movie alone? A thousand times, yes, I would. And I do it fairly frequently. Um, I'm not the kind of person who feels weird walking up to say, I want to see fill in the blank movie for one. And I go and I get some popcorn or soda or like my Harkins uh, royalty loyalty cups and I sit my butt down in the theater and enjoy and enjoy a flick. Like I have no problem going to see a movie by myself and sometimes I actually prefer it because you don't have anybody to like distract you from it and stuff like uh, mm, mm, no, don't talk to me. Even though I'm saying like mm, don't talk to me I'm the worst person to go to the movies with because I'm like oh my god did you see that? Oh! Like it's real bad like just forewarn you guys if you ever if we see each other at the movie theater if we cross paths please don't hate my life because I'm a terrible movie goer seer so um yes I would absolutely go to the movies alone um the next question is your favorite online shop I shop too many things online to have a favorite um I feel like the other day when I watched this video and I saw I heard that question I had an idea but right now it's gone of what my favorite online shop is I just like to shop online I like Groupon Groupon gets me into so much trouble because they've got anything from electronics to uh, you know getaways to local hotels or excursions to the outside the country which I've never bought any of those but I'm just saying to electronic did I ever say electronics to spa days you know whatever your little heart desires Groupon's got it and for a really good price like it's real bad I've ordered a few things and it gets me in trouble every time but if I had to say favorite online shop I guess it's Groupon I just love the idea of getting really good deals on really cool items that I don't normally know about or see and it ships to me well Groupon's been a little slacking lately but it usually ships to me within the month um, so, group on? Is that okay? And that is not the last question. This is the last question. It is just, do you have anything else to add? What else do you do during your me time? Um, during my me time, which is few and far between because I do have a six-year-old son, um, I'm just really chill. I... A lot of my friends live a little bit of a distance away from me, not out of state, but just across town that uh, we don't get to see each other very often unless we make plans. Um, so my me time is spent really watching Netflix, hanging out at home, um, when I'm out with my son, talking to my mom and laughing with her, and just hanging out in my room and watching YouTube videos and getting ideas and um, stuff like that because this is not quite yet a job for me. I do not get to, you know, do this just yet for a living, but um, I'm pretty chill. I just like to relax and be at home, be in, in my own, like, private sanctuary. Which, side note, you guys, this is completely off topic, but off, off topic, but I've pretty much got a blank space here. Like, you guys are just looking at a black wall back here. I've got some photos up on my wall of paintings that I created. Um, but I've got a blank canvas happening in my room right now and I really want to create something that's visually appealing for you guys in the background even though you're supposed to be focused on you know what I'm talking about right here with you right now but give me suggestions I wanted maybe to do like the tea lights up on the ceiling or you know, I just painted the room white so that it would give me a good all-around just color and easy filming space, but I'm open to painting my walls or having an accent wall. Just anything that you guys want 
to do. That's what I do in my me time. I look at things that I want to do. I'm trying to decide how I want to decorate my son's room because his, his is, update, is, is due for an update. How I want to do my room. And just chill out and laugh at all the many things that are happening on the interwebs. But that brings us to an end of this tag video. I am all done talking about my me time. I want to know about your me time. So um, make a video. Do a video response. Leave it in the comments. What do you guys do in your me time? Do you do anything that's different? Is there anything that you recommend that I should try as far as me time beauty products or foods or snacks of, of the healthier varieties? Let me know and leave those in the comments below. I hope that you guys are having a really, really great day and that you um, enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out all the links below there, as well as all the links to my social media, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, and Twitter. Is that it? Because I don't use really Tumblr. I don't even know how. Another, and that's another thing. Tell me how to use Tumblr because I don't know how and I want to know how. I have the app on my phone. It's just taking up space, but I don't know what I'm doing. So let me know in the comments below. Um, I hope that you guys are having an amazing day and I will talk to you really, really soon. See ya. Oh, oh, and I forgot to tag some people. So I tagged um, Melissa from Mel's Makeup 88 and Sophia from Sophia Artistry or Sophie Says. It's Sophie Says here on YouTube. Her website is Sophia Artistry. I don't know. It's Sophie Says. I, okay. Okay.